I have a long and distinguished pedigree lineage. My great 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 grandfather had a dinosaur as a second wife. My great 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 uncle was there when New Zealand broke away from that land with those jumpity pelty things. My auntie was there when the first of the seven canoes arrived on New Zealand, and that's how she met Uncle Fong. My father was the face of the five cent coin. And here's me, Danny, an eight year old couch potato. And there's Annie, a Galapagos turtle. She's a cousin of mine. Her father lived for 120 years. She's only a toddler now. See the trend? We are not the most interesting reptiles in the world, but that is why we live for over a hundred years. Because I don't move much means that I don't need much energy. And because I don't need much energy, I don't need much ATP. Because I don't need much ATP, I don't need that poisonous gas called oxygen flowing in my body. Uncle Bill said something about free radicals or something damaging my tissues. But uh, clearly I am not the scientist in the family. So, the golden rule of how to live longer is to be a couch potato, just like me. I'm so lazy that I don't even bother to warm myself up. I get a son to do that. But obviously, if you want to live longer, you must survive that long first. So, there is a silver rule of how to live longer. And that is, find friendly people to take care of you at their expense. It certainly helps if you're an endangered species, though. Hopefully, you now know how to live longer from my advice.